Have you ever had a long day at work? You're tired, and maybe you're a plumber or an astronaut. You just want some homemade chicken soup. And you know it takes a long time to cook it, and you just don't have that kind of time. You could call in an order and pick it up on the way home, but you know that nothing beats homemade chicken soup. Here's a picture of a puppy. Welcome to You Can Cook Anything with Bob and JP. I'm JP, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quicker version of chicken soup using an Instant Pot. Let's get started. As I'm sure you already know, chicken soup is a great food for when someone in your family is sick or just as a comfort food. In any case, there are plenty of reasons to make chicken soup. And if you want to make this chicken soup, as always, there's a link to a recipe with all the amounts in the description. Okay, so first, you're going to want to prep your ingredients. Mince your garlic, then slice three carrots. You might want to heat your Instant Pot at this point. Set it to saute while you chop the rest of your ingredients. Chop some celery and dice an onion. When the Instant Pot is hot enough, heat some olive oil and then saute your garlic until it becomes fragrant. Add the veggies that you chopped earlier and saute those. Just trying to get some color on those. Um, you don't have to go too long. Once you're satisfied with how sauteed the veggies are, add your chicken thighs. This is about two pounds of chicken thighs. Once you've added them to the pot, stir that up. Now, if you had plenty of time, you'd probably want to brown the chicken thighs first. But remember, this is meant to be a really quick version of chicken soup, so full speed ahead. Add a tablespoon each of Worcestershire sauce and soy sauce, and then follow that up with a sprinkle of fish sauce. If you're not used to fish sauce, you can omit it or go easy on it. It's one of those things that really increases the flavor of a soup, but it can smell very strong, so it can be a little bit daunting to people who haven't used it before. Surprisingly, the smell kind of disappears in the cooking process, and what you're left with is just kind of a lot of flavor. Now add a large can of chicken broth or chicken stock, whatever you've got on hand. Obviously homemade is better, but if you only have access to the store-bought stuff and you're really trying to do this quickly, it's fine for this recipe. Mix that up, then put the lid on the Instant Pot and set it to sealing. Turn the Instant Pot to pressure cook for 20 minutes. Of course, that's going to take longer than 20 minutes because it needs to heat up before it starts its cooking cycle. However, let it complete its cycle and then let it cool off for about, I don't know, 5-10 minutes before you release the pressure. And while you're waiting for that pressure to finish releasing, go ahead and chop up those scallions and save them for later addition to the pot. The next step once the pressure is released and you've opened the lid, is to take out the chicken thighs so that you can start to trim them and chop them up. Once they're trimmed and chopped, just go ahead and add them back to the soup. At this point, make sure that your pot is set to saute so that it keeps everything warm. You're almost done cooking the soup. It's basically cooked already, but you're gonna make some adjustments to the flavor. Add a can of petite diced tomatoes and add the scallions that you chopped up before. The final steps of this soup recipe are adjusting and enhancing the flavors, and a lot of that is going to involve you tasting it and deciding what you like, so that this really becomes a somewhat personal flavored soup. 
Add about a teaspoon of dried thyme to the soup. Now you're gonna need to taste the soup to really determine uh, how to finish off the flavors here. You're looking to figure out how much salt and pepper and lemon belong in this soup. Salt and pepper you're probably familiar with, and if you're not familiar with the addition of lemon, the reason you're adding the lemon is to cut the fattiness of the soup. So depending on the mouthfeel and how fatty it tastes to you, go ahead and add at least half of a fresh lemon juiced to the soup. Now you're going to add your salt and your freshly ground pepper. Then it's time to taste the soup again. You're trying to figure out whether the lemon brightened up the flavor of the soup sufficiently, whether it still tastes fatty at all. If you determine that you need to brighten up the flavor more, go ahead and add the rest of that lemon or adjust the salt and pepper. Now you may have noticed there are no noodles in this soup yet, and that's because I don't like to put noodles in my soup and cook them in the soup because I think they tend to get flabby, especially as leftovers. Also, I like rice in my soup, so I always cook the noodles or rice separately and then just ladle the soup over them. And in this case, I've secretly made some rice to go with this soup. In fact, it's basmati rice, which is a type of Indian rice that I think holds up really well in soup. It doesn't get too soggy, it doesn't fall apart. So ladle your soup over your chosen form of starch. And note that if you like a thinner soup than this, this soup is fairly thick, you can go ahead and use more broth in your soup. Just make sure you adjust the thyme and the salt and pepper accordingly. You're adjusting those to your tastes in any case, so it should make a difference. Another benefit of using the rice or pasta separately is you can adjust how many carbohydrates are in this soup. And that's it. This soup is ready to serve and ready to eat. You can get this soup ready in under an hour. It's a great meal that's full of protein and veggies. Whether you're a puppy or an astronaut, I think you'll love this recipe. If you like this video, click the like button. If you want to see more videos like it, especially Instant Pot recipes, click subscribe and let us know in the comments what kind of videos you enjoy. Remember what Bob and I always say?